My name is Beverly Baker. I'm 71 years old and like many of my fellow citizens, I had my Christmas and New Year completely ruined because I was exposed to Omicron. Mr Morrison, you have said that we are at the stage in the pandemic where we must push through. But I have to ask you, how do you propose that we do this without any of the equipment that is needed? We cannot get rapid antigen testing kits and the few that are available are at enormous price, yet you will do nothing to stop the price gouging of the corporations who are determined to get wealthy on the back of this scourge. You promised us that the aged care workers and those in their care would be looked after yet they have not had access to the booster. The staff are burnt out and our parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles are locked away in rooms where they have no idea of when they will see us again or in fact what is even happening. You also said that you want school children to return to the classrooms by the end of this month, yet you have done nothing to ensure that, they, that every classroom in the country has access to air purifiers, or that every child who wants it can be vaccinated, at least for one shot, but preferably two. You expect teachers to front up and run the risk of exposure and the risk of taking it home to their unaffected families and to their parents and loved ones. You, sir, may well have access to all of the services that you need. You have the best that we as a society can provide to you, our leader. So it is not too much for us to ask for you to actually do your job. And it is your job to ensure that if you wish us to push through, that we can do so with safety. We need access to rapid antigen tests and we need them free, as has been done in other civilised countries across the globe. If I needed to access our hospital through an age-related illness. I can't be guaranteed of a place. Our hospitals are overwhelmed to the point of breaking. You have not done anything to support or help these frontline workers. It's very hard, Mr Morrison, for us not to think that you care little for the aged, for the young and for the poor because you have done nothing to help them push through as you want.